To adjust the rotary hook on a commercial embroidery machine using the rat, you must be able to rotate the main shaft of the machine to the correct setting position with the needle bar disengaged and free to be lowered manually. This may be as simple as turning off power to a sewing head. This video will show the rat being used on a Tajima TFMX two-head embroidery machine that has a needle bar suspension lever. Your machine may be a different model or be made by a different company. It may not have a needle bar suspension lever. Remove the two screws and the needle plate from the lower arm. Also remove four screws and the U-shaped cover. Pull the needle bar suspension lever to the front, disengaging the reciprocator. Turn off power to the machine. The degree wheel for the main shaft should be in the red zone. This machine is shown with the end cover removed. You do not need to remove this cover to use the wrap. Remove the bobbin. There are three screws securing the rotary hook to the shaft. Two of the screws have recessed heads. One of the screw heads protrudes. With the degree wheel for the main shaft in the red zone, you can loosen one of the recessed screws from the right side. Use your T-handle to rotate the main shaft in the correct direction, counterclockwise on the TMFX, until the pointer is at about 160 degrees. The needle bar should not be moving while the main shaft is being rotated. With the degree wheel for the main shaft at 160 degrees, you can loosen the other recessed screw. Rotate the main shaft with your T-handle until the pointer is at 201 degrees. 201 degrees is the factory recommended radial position for setting the rotary hook on the Tajima TFMX. Loosen the protruding screw on the rotary hook. You should be able to rotate and slide the rotary hook on the shaft. The rat tools come in a fitted wooden case. They are precision machined from stainless steel. The rat tool sets are made in the USA. There are five rat tools in the set. You should start your adjustments with rat zero. Rat zero provides an adjustment setting in the middle of the recommended gap for most machines. The plus one rat adds approximately two thousandths of an inch to the gap. The plus two adds four thousandths of an inch. Plus two is equal to the maximum recommended gap. The minus one rat narrows that gap by approximately two thousandths of an inch and the minus two is equal to the minimum recommended gap. The needle bar should be in its raised position. Remove the needle that is currently in position over the lower arm. Replace the needle with one of the rat tools. There is a hole through each of the rat tools for alignment. The small end of another rat tool is used to align the rat tool being used for adjustment. The number for the rat tool being used should be facing the left side of the machine. Proper alignment is important. The tool needs to be squared to the frame of the machine. With your left hand, pull the needle bar down while you rotate the rotary hook into position, as shown in this illustration. The tip of the rotary hook should be aligned with the slot in the back of the rat tool. The rat tool set includes a small spring clamp. You will need to use this spring clamp to hold the needle bar down. Guide the point of the rotary hook into the slot on the back of the rat adjusting tool. The bottom of the rat tool should be able to rest on the basket, which normally holds the bobbin. With the rat bottomed out on the basket, Use the spring clamp to hold the needle bar down. Rotate the rotary hook counterclockwise while sliding it forward so the point of the rotary hook is nestled into the slot at the back of the rat. Be careful to not exert pressure that will deflect the rat and or the needle bar. If you see the rat or the needle bar shift or deflect, either to the left or forward, you are pushing too hard and your adjustment will be wrong. While holding the rotary hook in position with your left hand, tighten the protruding screw on the rotary hook. Verify that the arm of the bobbin support is still nestled into the slot on the front of the basket for the bobbin. Let's check your adjustment. You should be able to make the rat and the needle bar deflect by rotating the rotary hook counterclockwise. Even a slight pressure on the rotary hook should make it move. When you release the rotary hook, it should return to a free position. You might also see it move by pulling the rotary hook towards you, depending on how much slack there is in the shaft. The proper adjustment may take a little practice. It is easy to obtain repeatable results using the rat tools. Without the rat tools, you are trying to align the gap in the radial position by moving the rotary hook's point to an imaginary spot and holding it there while you tighten one of the screws. Remove the clamp and allow the needle bar to retract. 
Remove the rat tool from the needle bar. Use the T-handle to rotate the main shaft counterclockwise to 160 degrees. Tighten one of the recessed screws. Rotate the main shaft until you are in the red zone. Tighten the other recessed screw on the rotary hook. Replace the needle in the needle bar. Make sure the needle is aligned. An easy way to get the needles into position is by using an old needle. Stick the old needle's point in the new needle's eye and use it to hold the needle up in the needle bar while tightening it. Included in the rat set is a cylindrical magnet. Use it to verify that all of your needles are aligned. Each needle has a groove ground or formed in its face, a slot for the thread to ride in. Place the magnet on the front of each needle across the groove and it will indicate whether it is straight or not. A rotated needle may cause frayed and broken threads. Check your needles whenever you change them. Move the needle bar suspension lever to the rear. Let's double check our adjustment. Rotate the main shaft one complete revolution and then set it at 201 degrees. The needle bar should have descended and started back up. The point of the rotary hook should be directly behind the scarf and the needle. The gap should be just large enough for a thread to pass through. A gap that is too wide will cause looping and miss stitches. A gap that is too narrow will result in frayed and broken threads. Replace the bobbin. Reinstall the U-shaped cover and the needle plate. Rotate the main shaft until you are in the red zone. Restart the machine. Do a trial sew out. An embroidery design is available from our website on the Using the Rat page that will let you check the sewing condition for all your needles on each head. Both a tatami fill and a satin stitch are sewn with every needle. The embroidery results should be tight on top with only about a third of the bobbin thread visible underneath. If some colors or needles sew better than others, check your tensions. You should invest in an upper thread tension gauge Use it whenever you change thread. Tension should always be the first thing to check when loose stitching is encountered. The RAT tool set allows you to make small adjustments to the radial position of the rotary hook, which can further improve the quality of your embroidery. Keep a record of which RAT tool was used and on which head. Record the degrees it was set at. Visit us at GetRat.com and get your rat tool set today.